Hi, and welcome to Take Time to Create. This is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. Today we're going to do another canvas and we are going to use doilies on this canvas. So you can find doilies just about anywhere, flea markets and Goodwill and all kinds of places. I actually found my doilies and I have a whole pile of them on Wish and that just, it all came from China. So be prepared for it to take a little bit of time but these are just machine made doilies or you can make them yourself. Lots of options for your doilies. I'm also going to use some paint and I have Liquitex Basics and this color is raw sienna and I have red oxide and quinacridone magenta. So I have three really pretty, more neutrally colors because I thought that'd go really well with my, I guess it's more of a cream colored doily. Just pour them in your little paint pans. And what we're going to do to start with is I have three brushes. I have just a one inch Finnabar Art Basics and I have a, another one inch. This one's got the little spatula side and this one is a three quarter inch. It's just what I had in my stash. I'm kind of lazy. I didn't want to wash in between brushes. All right, get your brush a little wet and we are going to go to town and I am just starting with one color and what I'm going to do is just kind of paint circles-ish. And you know what, if it's not perfect, that's okay. And things that we are going to blend together and we might need to do a second coat. Don't forget to go on the side because sides will get covered as well. And we'll just kind of touch it up like this. I have plans to do this in a bigger canvas as well, but it's really hard for the for how my setup is like this for a large canvas. But I will show you pictures on my Instagram when I do the larger ones. All right. This magenta is a little brighter than what I had planned. So what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of burnt sienna, just a tiny bit, not much, just to kind of bring that down. And all of this is going to get covered up, so it's not a super big deal. Oh yeah, that's much better. And that's the whole idea, is that we are experimenting. Oh yeah, that's much better. Not so bright in your face. And there we go. And then we have our third color. And I'm just kind of swirling around so I'm going to keep on doing this. Not really too exciting, but I'm just going to keep on moving and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And you'll see that I'm actually swirling into the other colors and I'm blending them a little bit. And I want that because I want the three colors to start to marry together. I don't want them all super separate. And I'm not going more than three colors because if I went too many colors, I think it'll just be too bright. I think it'll just not work out. It'll be too confusing. So keep your palette pretty basic because it's like all of my mixed media, we will add things. So this is just our base layer and we'll just keep on building up. So let me finish painting and I'll be right back. All right, it is all dry now. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks like roses if you look at it. And then all of the sides are painted too. And it looks really good. Uh, it's not perfect. There are some spots that might need some touch up, but we're gonna do, do the next step. And then if we need to touch up the sides, we can certainly do that. If you wanna add more layers, you can do that before we move on to this next step. But we're gonna go ahead and move on. So what you do is you take your doilies and I'm just kind of laying them out and it's okay if they spread over the edge because we want it to go over the edge. We want different sizes and we're going to overlap them just a little bit and we want different textures and just kind of get an idea of what you're looking at. I think this one's too big. You want to have everything proportional as well and you don't want too giant of things, so I'm putting a little bit of a smaller one. And I like that there's a little bit of a corner showing. And I'm going to put another one here. Then I have these little tiny ones that I'll 
fill in the gaps, just kind of set them around and see what we get. Not everything's going to be covered up. Not everything will be perfect and it'll look something like this. And as I adhere these, these down, they're just going to be a little different as we go. All right. So now let's start adhering these down. I have rubber gloves to try to keep the mess to a minimum, but we'll see. <laughs> that never quite happens the way we think. For this one, instead of uh, putting gloss gel down, then adhering, I don't want to have that gloss gel cover up any of this paint that I did. So I am just going to dip it in gloss gel, and this is Master's Touch Gloss Gel, and I'm just going to soak the doily in it and just paint it all with it and go from there and I'm just smearing it around. Now you'll need quite a bit and this will adhere just fine and I'm making sure I'm putting it on the top too because I'm going to add paint on the top and this will act as a barrier. It'll prime the surface for the paint on the top. If you don't prime the surface then the paint will just soak right in and it will not look as good and be as sharp. All right, so make sure you really coat it on. Make sure it is covered. And yep, this is looking pretty good. And I'm kind of smooshing it all around. I think it adds really cool texture to it. We don't want the doilies too perfect. Now this one has a right side and a wrong side because it's kind of puffy here and I am just laying it down and then this is where you kind of smush it out and you get it so that you can really tell what's going on and I'm smearing it down. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Here's my next one. Put lots and lots on front and back and We'll just keep on doing this. And it feels like I might... Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that it's really staying down, I think I will put some gloss gel. I thought originally I wasn't going to put gloss gel, but now I really want to make sure it's going to stay. I think I'm going to take some gloss gel and just go around the edges just to really make sure it's adhered. I'm taking some of this heavy gloss gel. It's a Liquitex and you just take a little bit of that and I'm just kind of placing it underneath here just on the edges and kind of pushing it down. I just don't want it to be too prominent and I'll clean it up with a paper towel. I'm just going on the edges. And when you're doing this, it won't look like it's going to stick. It'll look like it's gonna pop up, it'll, and you'll be worried about it, and I get it, but it'll stay. It's not very heavy. The doilies are not super duper heavy, and all of these mediums will do really well. All right, so we've got that on the edges. Got a little bit of a paper towel and I'm just going in the little crevices so that it's not so obvious that I adhered it down with some extra glue and we are good to go. All right, I'll keep on working. And don't be afraid to overlap as you do this. Overlapping is a great way to really add detail to this project. And they are circles, so they won't line up perfectly on a rectangle canvas. So overlap, add detail, and it's okay if some of the orange and brown is showing through. You want to have that detail as well. We're not covering up everything. Before you let it dry, make sure 
you clean up all your edges because you can't do it when it's done. You want to do it before it is dry. So I am going to touch up everything, clean it up, and let it dry, and I'll be back. All right, now it is all dry, and I am loving how this looks. Now, you can kind of see that you can see some of the heavier gloss gel kind of oozed through. I didn't do as good of a job as I should have to clean it up, but that's okay. We're going to add things on top, and it should be just fine. On the sides, I will need to touch up some of the paint, uh, which is no big deal. So make sure you keep a note of what paints you used, and so you can touch up the sides and the edges, and that's always just part of when you do a canvas. The next step before I paint is I am going to add some uh, microbeads, and uh, these are Martha Stewart microbeads, and this is color Fire Opal. I have a magnet because I have a metal strip in my craft room and I just stick these on my metal strip and uh, it works really well for me. I have a blog post for that and I can link that down below. This is a yellow that is also a Martha Stewart. I have no idea who this is from but it's a microbead and it's, um, once again I just use these little containers and I put a magnet on here and make sure you really seal it tight because if you don't it will come off and you will have beads all over but it works really well and this is kind of a coppery color and I have these are kind of an iridescent color and you really can't see it on camera at all but they're so pretty so I'm going to do a combination of these beads and I am just going to use some gloss gel just this gloss gel from Master's Touch. And I am going to spoon it out and stick it in the middle of some of the flowers, just a little bit. And I'm not going to paint this right away because from past experience, I know that this will need to dry before you paint because it kind of mushes around and things aren't as stable as what you'd like. And I'm going to wipe up some that I got on the edge, not where I wanted it. Everything is nice and stiff and it will accept paint really well, which I'm really excited about. And I'm just going to sprinkle in some microbeads and I'm going to mix colors. There we go. All right. I like that one. And I'll put some in the different flowers. Kind of all over. See how that goes and let me hold this up real close so you can see. I do like how it turned out and it'll be really pretty and then when I do a little bit of painting over the top I think it'll really come together. So let me go ahead and get this done and I think I'm gonna put some microbeads you know even on some edges like this over here just to add some interest and some details just around. It doesn't all have to be in the same place and it doesn't all have to be in the center of the doilies all over and then it'll be so very very cute. All right welcome back. So all of the little micro beads they are all dry now and I am loving the way this looks. It looks so good. Now at any stage you can stop so if you like it at this stage just stop but I'm going to add paint. It's completely optional. I'm going to be using some Finnabar paints and these are the Art Alchemy. I have the metallic paints, brass hardware and steampunk copper and two sparks colors in unicorn hair and ginger magic. And I heard rumor and it's true you can pick these up at Michael's. I just got these two at Michael's. Very excited. I love that they're so easily accessible now. All right, I'm starting with the unicorn hair um, of the Sparks paint, and I'm using this dabber brush, and I've never used it before. It's the number four, and it's a Finnabar. And I thought I would try it out, and I'm just dabbing a little tiny, tiny bit into the paint, and I'm just going to kind of swirl and dry brush onto the uh, doily here, just a tiny, tiny bit. Wipe off the rest. You don't need a lot. I find that a little bit goes a long way and I'm just going to dab these on just like this and I'm just going to highlight some parts. And it's okay, like I got a little bit, I got a little bit here and that's okay. Sorry, I had to 
to move it. Not really in focus for you guys. And let's keep on going around and I'm just adding just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm loving this detail. I love the Sparks paint. They are my favorite. With the Metallic A Close Second. They are gorgeous. All right, so Ginger Sparks, or nope, Ginger Magic, sorry. All right, I'm going to add some really pretty highlights here to this little guy. And you'll notice sometimes the micro beads come off and that's okay because this will really make sure they're adhered down. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this unicorn hair over the top just to add a tiny bit more detail. And so it's not all so very one dimensional. And that's it. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of this canvas. So I will speed up the video and you guys can watch along and I'll meet you back at the end. All right, there you have it. I have painted the whole thing and I will put close-ups of the finished canvas. I am in love with it. I love how the paint just makes the details. I love how it just brings it out and I am very pleased with this. So if you think of other things that you would like me to put doilies on, I have a few other projects in mind because I got quite a few from Wish and I'm kind of excited for it. So I will be doing other projects, but if you think of something that you want me to do, just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. And thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. <music>